So the way that I was training before, I see that as exercise. And exercise for me, that word brings up this feeling of a task or that I'm being forced to do something, a job. Versus the way that I'm training now, it's like something that I'm really excited to do. It kind of invigorates me, it kind of lights me up that I get to practice and develop these skills. So movement for me is a feeling. I like to feel it in my body, it's an experience. There's so much knowledge out there and we can constantly be reading and learning, but it's not until you feel it in your body that you actually get to experience what it is to move. Was this creativity, this sense of playfulness. And I felt like what I was doing before was very numbers driven. It was like, how much body fat percentage do you have? How much do you weigh? Calories, how many calories you eat? Oh, it's all numbers. And it was just kind of like, ah, I was just like doing my head in. And there was a sense of like seriousness around it. My movement practice and what I teach and what I share and what I've come to know is that creativity is so important. It kind of just like opened my mind up to the possibilities. I was like, holy shit, like I can do this thing that I thought was impossible. It's now possible. What else is there? So then I started to look around. The first thing you need to do is find something you're really passionate about. So something that really lights you up, something that you're excited to do. It could be any activity. What you want to do is find something that you can then join the dots between everything in your life. Blur the lines and don't separate exercise or any type of movement with your lifestyle. Kind of blend them together. You need to find the thing that really lights you up and do that.